If you are here on this video today, psychology says to you today, you're not alone in navigating the complex labyrinth of your mind. Our minds are like intricate mosaics, comprised of experiences, emotions, and coping mechanisms that shape the way we interact with the world. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the subtle intricacies of the human psyche and delve into the realm of trauma responses that often masquerade as negative habits. Buckle up as we explore nine negative habits that reflect your trauma response. Escaping through perfectionism, have you ever found yourself tirelessly perfecting every detail, be it in your work or personal life? The pursuit of perfection often stems from a deep-seated fear of failure, a trauma response that attempts to regain control in a world that once seemed chaotic. Psychologically, perfectionism acts as a shield against vulnerability, a way to avoid criticism or rejection. Unraveling this negative habit requires acknowledging that imperfections are an inherent part of the human experience. The people-pleaser persona, if you constantly find yourself saying yes when you want to say no, you might be donning the people-pleaser persona. This habit often arises from a trauma response linked to the fear of abandonment or rejection. The subconscious belief is that by catering to the needs of others, one can secure a sense of belonging. To break free from this cycle, it's crucial to recognize and communicate your own needs, fostering healthy relationships built on authenticity. Chronic self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is a paradoxical habit, consciously or subconsciously undermining your success or well-being. This negative pattern often emerges as a protective mechanism, preventing oneself from getting too close to success, intimacy, or happiness. Unraveling self-sabotage involves introspection, identifying the underlying fears that trigger this behavior, and cultivating self-compassion to rewrite the narrative. Isolating in the name of independence, while independence is a commendable trait, isolating oneself emotionally or socially can be a trauma response in disguise. The fear of vulnerability, or being hurt again, may lead individuals to build emotional fortresses, cutting themselves off from meaningful connections. Recognizing this negative habit involves understanding that true strength lies in vulnerability and the ability to connect authentically with others. Overwhelmed by control, a compulsive need for control often masks a trauma response rooted in a loss of agency. Traumatic experiences can shatter one's sense of control, leading to an obsessive need to micromanage every aspect of life. Breaking free from this negative habit entails acknowledging that control is an illusion and learning to embrace uncertainty. Acceptance becomes the key to healing and moving forward. Silencing your voice. If you find it challenging to express your thoughts or assert your needs, it may be a manifestation of a trauma response. A history of invalidated opinions or experiences can lead to a fear of rejection, causing individuals to silence their voices. Breaking this negative habit involves reclaiming your narrative, understanding that your perspective is valid, and learning to communicate assertively. Escaping through substance use, substance use, whether it be alcohol, drugs, or other vices, can serve as a temporary escape from the pain of unresolved trauma. 
This negative habit often develops as a coping mechanism, providing a fleeting sense of relief. Recognizing the connection between substance use and trauma is the first step towards seeking healthier coping mechanisms and professional support. Constantly seeking external validation. Relying excessively on external validation can be a red flag for an underlying trauma response. The need for constant approval may stem from a history of conditional love or an inability to internalize one's worth. Overcoming this negative habit involves cultivating self-love, acknowledging your intrinsic value, and finding validation within yourself rather than solely from others. Replaying the past, dwelling on past traumas, replaying distressing memories, or fixating on what ifs can become a habitual response to unresolved trauma. This negative pattern keeps individuals trapped in a cycle of distress, hindering personal growth. Breaking free involves seeking therapeutic support, practicing mindfulness, and actively working towards reframing the narrative around past experiences. Understanding that these negative habits are often deeply rooted in trauma is the first step toward healing and growth. It's crucial to approach these realizations with self-compassion and, when needed, seek professional guidance. The journey to breaking free from trauma responses is unique for each individual, but the destination is a place of self-discovery, resilience, and authentic living. As we navigate the intricate terrain of our minds, let us remember that acknowledging our struggles is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our strength. By unraveling the layers of trauma responses, we pave the way for authentic healing and the rediscovery of our true selves. So, if you find yourself resonating with any of these negative habits, take a moment to reflect, seek support, and embark on a journey towards self-love and genuine connection. After all, the most profound transformations often arise from the courage to confront and transform our inner landscapes. Now that we've explored the intricacies of trauma responses manifesting as negative habits, it's essential to delve into the transformative journey toward healing and self-discovery. Breaking free from these patterns requires a commitment to self-awareness, self-compassion, and, at times, seeking professional help. Let's embark on the second part of our journey, where we'll discover actionable steps to overcome these negative habits and nurture a more resilient, authentic self. Embrace self-awareness, the foundation of any transformative journey is self-awareness. Take the time to reflect on your thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. Journaling can be a powerful tool to track patterns and identify triggers associated with your negative habits. By understanding the roots of these behaviors, you empower yourself to make informed decisions and initiate positive change. Cultivate self-compassion. It's crucial to approach the process of change with kindness and understanding towards yourself. Recognize that the negative habits developed as coping mechanisms in response to challenging experiences. Be patient and gentle as you work towards breaking these patterns. Self-compassion acts as a guiding light, fostering a nurturing environment for personal growth. Seek professional support. Breaking free from deeply ingrained negative habits often requires external guidance. 
Therapists and counselors specialize in helping individuals navigate trauma, providing valuable insights and coping strategies. Professional support can offer a safe space for self-exploration and catalyze transformation. Establish healthy boundaries. Learning to set and maintain healthy boundaries is crucial in breaking free from negative habits. This involves communicating your needs, saying no when necessary, and recognizing that your well-being is a priority. Establishing boundaries empowers you to create a supportive environment that fosters personal growth. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness, the practice of being present at the moment without judgment, can be a powerful ally in overcoming trauma responses. Engaging in mindfulness exercises, such as meditation or deep breathing, helps anchor you in the present and reduces the grip of past traumas on your mind. Regular practice enhances self-awareness and cultivates resilience.